Hello and welcome back. This is a second tutorial on how to use the NBS-1000. Um, as you know, we have all the windows open with all our cameras. So what we want to do now is we want to be able to see what was recorded. To be able to see that, you have to go to the main control panel. And you'll notice that we have a recording area here. So what we want to do is we want to press um, record and playback. When you do that, you're going to notice your devices on the right hand side. Um, and the, here's your date. You can set up the date. So, for example, today is the 28th. I'm going to pick another date. I know it was recording on the 27th, so I'm going to go to the 27th. As you notice right here on the top, you see the 427 2015. What you want to do now is you want to pick your, your camera that you want to view the recording. So I'm going to say that will be camera number one. I'm going to grab it and drag it. Okay. And if you notice, I'm going to go change the format, which is on the left, to one camera only, which is this one here. If you do one camera at a time, it's a lot easier. The, the, the software could do several cameras, but uh, the more cameras you input in this device, the more um, there's going to be a lag on it, because it would also work through the network. So it's best to do one camera at the time or probably four will be the max I would recommend. Once you load the camera like I did, you'll notice the, um, the camera is displaying and you'll see yellow dots or lines here. If you notice the software is already playing this. When the device is already playing, it's uh, tracking the time on the bottom. You can actually scroll that forward in time. All you gotta do is hover around it and click on it. If you notice there's some spots that have not been recorded because there was no movement. The device only records when there's movement. If there's no movement, it will not record. You can jump back and forward, back and forward. When you get the time that you want to save, you gotta log it in. As you can see right now, there's the 27, 8, 41, if something happened here, what you really want to do is you want to log in the time and the camera that you are working with. That way you will be able to back up your information. This concludes the second tutorial of how to use your NBMS-2000. I'm sorry, 1000. Thank you.